The Relative Numbers modifier allows you to see relative percentages. You can use it to see the impact of specific selections relative to the selection, relative to the total, or relative to other fields. You can change the basis upon which the relative number is calculated. In the first example, we are going to use a bar chart and add the category name as dimension and the sum of cost of sales as a measure. First, we are going to change the number formatting to percentage. Then, we are going to turn on value label and change the sorting of the data. Now, from the modifier drop-down menu, we are going to select relative number. As you can see, the percentage value in the bar chart has been changed and now shows relative percentages. You can also set the modifier in different ways. In the second example, we create another bar chart and this time we add year and quarter as dimensions and the sum of sales as a measure. For the appearance, we are going to select the stacked option and enable the value and segment labels. We change the number formatting to percentage and then from the modifier drop-down menu, we are going to select relative number again. This time, for selection scope, we will select current selection and for dimensional scope, we will select respect one dimension. In this way, the percentage will be relative to the selected dimension. Now we are going to create a table where we will show other examples of relative modifiers. First, we are going to add category name as a dimension and the sum of sales as a measure. Then we are going to add another measure for the sum of sales. This time, when we choose relative number, we will select Disregard Selection and Disregard Dimension. We will label this example Total and Disregard. For the second example, under Relative Number, we will choose Current Selection and Disregard Dimension, and we are going to label the example Current and Disregard. And for the final example, under Relative Number, we will choose Select a Field Value. Then for Field, we select Category Name, and for Value, we type Babyware. This will return the result relative to the specific value. And here's the final result. As you can see, when you make different selections, the charts will update according to the calculations you selected for the relative number. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.